What's going on all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And join me today for my overview of The Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus Volume 3 from DC Comics. So let's get started. And welcome back everybody. So what we're looking at here is The Final Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus. Well, final until he goes back and writes Flash for a few years and then they do a fourth omnibus or a companion omnibus. The cover here supplied by Francis Manipool, who actually became the ongoing artist during this time when Jeff Johns came back to The Flash. Now, there is something that I do have to talk about that is a little bit of a spoiler as to when this takes place and The Flash you're reading about here because there is a big gap between Volume 2 and this, and I'll explain why. But let's look at the spine here. We have another picture, finally, of Flash running, and this is by Scott Collins. The Flash by Jeff Johns, Omnibus Volume 3, the DC logo, and then, of course, the Flash logo. And then this image right here by Andy Kubert from Flashpoint. The book retails for $99.99. It all changes now. Actually, it all changed a couple of years before this. Let's take a look at it under the dust jacket. Another kick-ass image from Francis Manipool. I love the flash just changing in the costume. I kind of wish they had used th something like this for the spines instead of standing, standing, and looking, and then running. But I am not the designer of these dust jackets. I really like this, though. This is a nice little detail. So if you look really closely, you can see Fastest Man Alive, the Speed Force. That's really cool. It's just going back. It almost feels like you're stepping into the Matrix or the actual speed force. All right, let's get this book open, check out the artwork, talk about the premise of the stories, and of course, when all this takes place. And again, just a little bit of a spoiler, because we have to talk about this era of Flash. All right, let's get this opened. We have some end paper here, some black end paper. The Flash by Jeff Johns, volume three, another Francis Manipul piece right there, as well as here. You have Jeff Johns, Sterling Gates, Scott Collins, Francis Manipal, Ethan Vanskyver, Andy Kubert, Joel Gomez, Sandra Hope are some of the artists in here. Scott Hanna, love seeing his name on here. So what you're going to see here with Scott Hanna and Sandra Hope are some of the inkers being credited as just artists. Love it. They're just as important as pencilers. Um, you have the colors here like Brian Buscellato and then you have letters and the collection cover artist. Over here is your table of contents. There's a new introduction by Jeff Johns and which issue kicks this off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, if you don't want to know anything about this era of Flash, put me on mute, look at the pretty pictures, ooh, ah, uh, and then decide whether you want to or not, or go back to where I talk about the binding of the book and the quality of the paper. Um, but here's your introduction by Jeff Johns, written in 2021. And actually this book was solicited for 2021, but slipped into the 2022 schedule. Um, okay, so what I was gonna say, the important thing about this particular era is that this takes place after Final Crisis. So at the end of Jeff Johns' run of Flash in omnibus format, volume two, the new printing, it gets a little bit confusing because the old printing had three volumes and they all collect pretty much what the first two volumes of the new printing collect. So at the end of that, it leads directly into Infinite Crisis. Well, something happens in the pages of Infinite Crisis. I'm not going to get into details, but Wally West, who was the Flash at the time, is taken out of the picture. And Bart Allen, who was known as Impulse and then Kid Flash, becomes the new Flash as he is aged up. So he gets his own series. Well, this series were, uh, wasn't selling that well. I will say that. And they ended up getting rid of him. You can find out how by getting those trade paperbacks. And then we had Wally West come back. He came back with his kids. They've grown up a little bit. And they also are part of the Speed Force. So Wally West is back for a few issues. And fast forward a couple of years. We have Final Crisis. This big event uh, by Grant Morrison. And Grant Morrison took the opportunity to bring back a classic character. Darkseid. Now, this is the spoiler part. Darkseid is the evil part of the characters that he brought back, but he brought back hope in someone else. Well, that someone else is somebody we haven't seen since the pages of Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's weird, but I'll get back to that in a second. But in Crisis on Infinite Earths, we had the Flash, the Silver Age Flash, Barry Allen, giving up his life, sacrificing his life to stop the Anti-Monitor. Now, Mark Wolfman had always written a loophole in his issue where Barry Allen dies. And he thought, okay, at any time, 
another writer could bring him back if they want to. But it had been over two decades that anybody had ever thought about the idea of bringing him back. And he would come back from time to time, like legacy stories and things like that, but never fully back. Well, in the pages of Final Crisis, as, as a matter of fact, uh, DC Universe Zero hinted at it, Darkseid comes back, but so does Barry Allen, and he is back full force. Barry Allen is back alive, and then we go to this. So that's something to keep in mind, is that this does not collect the return of Barry Allen. It's kind of crazy. So this collects, what we're looking at here is Final Crisis. Those are the covers right there. Um, this is the three-issue miniseries written by Jeff Johns called Final Crisis Rogue's Revenge. So this was taking place at the same time that Final Crisis, the main event, was taking place. And here we have art by Scott Collins, and it's the old rogues versus the new rogues. They want revenge for what they ended up doing to Bart Allen. It's pretty interesting, and I, I love the way that this ends. And then... We jump to this. This is Flash Rebirth. So this collects, like I mentioned, Rogue's Revenge 1, 2, and 3, Flash Rebirth 1 through 6, Flash, the ongoing series after this Rebirth 1 through 12, Blackest Night, the three-issue miniseries Flash, the Flash Rebirth number 1, Blackest Night, Black Lantern Corps number 1, and Flash Secret Files and Origins 2020, and then of course wrapping it up with Flashpoint 1 through 5. So this is Flash Rebirth. And with DC, I know it gets confusing because I've had so many of my viewers be confused when I talk about Green Lantern Rebirth and then Rebirth era of DC. So this is just Flash Rebirth, not the Rebirth era of DC. I am sorry, it gets confusing. I know because the titles are very similar. This is done in the same vein that Green Lantern Rebirth was done when Jeff Johns teamed up with Ethan Van Skyver and brought back Hal Jordan. Brought him back into the DC Universe. He'd been dead for a while. This does the same thing with Barry Allen. However, Barry Allen doesn't come back in this, so that's why you might open this up and there's been a couple of years gap between Volume 2 and 3 and then all of a sudden, wait, what's going on? Why is Barry Allen back? Or you may not even know who Barry Allen was. I hope you just listened to me talk for a couple of minutes, but he was the Silver Age Flash. Anyway, that's what this is. So this serves more of a purpose of reintroducing Barry Allen as Flash to the DC characters again, um, giving him a reason to keep fighting crime, so not retiring from being the Flash. And so in this series, we have two Flash. We, flashes, sorry, plural Flashes, Flashes. Don't know why I said two Flash. But anyway, we have Wally West and we have Barry Allen. They're still both the Flash. Barry respects Wally for taking up his mantle after he died and becoming Flash from Kid Flash in the pages of Crisis on Infinite Earths. In this, you know, it's him restoring faith in everybody else. There's a team up with Green Lantern here, a little Brave and the Bold throwback. There's a whole mystery with the Black Flash. A bunch of speedsters from Mark Wade's run, from Jeff John's run, come into this. Uh, so it can be a little confusing as to why this character is back if you've not read Final Crisis. But really, all you need to know is Barry Allen is back, and he is back to being the Flash. Now, this again is drawn by Ethan Van Skyver. This is the same artist that did Green Lantern Rebirth, and this establishes Barry Allen returning to the mantle of Flash. And it's pretty interesting that like Wonder Woman uses her political powers to say, oh, Barry Allen had been alive. He was just in police custody because he was part of a witness protection program because he was a cop. So it's pretty interesting how that worked out. Nice little loopholes. There is a retcon in here that um, Jeff Johns did, and that's introduced the theory that Barry Allen's mom was murdered because I remember, I mean, please let me know if I'm wrong, because I remember in the past whenever I had re uh, read anything about Barry Allen, he knew his mom and dad and they were alive. But in this, it, it, there's a mystery as to it's the one crime because he's a detective, he's a cop that he never solved who killed his mother. Now, here is some artwork from the Blackest Night issues. This is more of a return of his rogues that were dead during this time. So I'm going to skip a little bit and get to the next story arc here. This is Flash, the new series, 1 through 12. I'm censoring the final page there of Blackest Night because even though it's been a few years, I don't want to spoil that. I've already spoiled the return of Barry Allen for some of you. But this is now Barry Allen continuing being the Flash. 
This is an ongoing series. We have some rogues from the future that come into this particular story. He doesn't quite trust them. And we have all of this. These are the rogues from the future. Um, we have all of this leading up to something called Flashpoint. Now, I don't know if that was the intent from Jeff Johns from the beginning of this, or if that was more of a Dan Didio decision, like, hey, let's reset the entire universe. Well, it goes back to the idea that Barry never solved the crime of who murdered his mother. It's this been this unsolved crime. And that's where all of this leads into. I mean, there's other things going on in here. You have the appearance and reconnecting of Bart Allen and Barry Allen. It's a really sweet moment. But most of this is just a setup for what's to happen in the pages of Flashpoint. And if you have the second, or I'm sorry, the Flashpoint omnibus, yes, you are correct. There is a lot of double dipping. So I um, I think I've mentioned that when I was doing the overview of the Flashpoint omnibus. So all of this leads into this. There's nothing in between. So you go from Flash issue 12 to Flashpoint issue 1. By the way, something I didn't talk about is this right here. The artwork by Francis Manipal. This is an artist that I remember first finding his art in the pages of Witchblade. And he transitioned over here nicely. He he did a, a run with Jim Starlin on the pages of uh, Legion of Superheroes. But he became the co-plotter when New 52 kicked off. And man, he is a damn solid artist. And I love the fact when he was a co-plotter because... Or plotter sometimes... Uh, storyteller because he could manipulate the art in the way that he wanted to to show off some more of that panel transition like he does in the pages of the new 52 flash and if you've not read it it's a lot of fun it's a lot different than this but it's a lot of fun just to see an artist go full hardcore no restrictions by the writer as to you know where the word bubbles need to be or where the letters need to be on a page i love it but let's go back to this so this is the five issue miniseries. This is the event that launched New 52. Uh, the story here is pretty simple. One day, Barry Allen just <laughs> passes out and wakes up in a different world. That's it. In this world, his mom is still alive. Remember when I said his mom is the one unsolved crime that he couldn't fix or get? But in this world, she's still alive. But that's not the only difference. In this world, Everything is turned upside down. Batman is a lot more edgier. I know. I know. How can he get more edgier? You have superheroes or super or villains that are now superheroes and vice versa. And you have this guy right here, Barry Allen, who's trying to strike lightning twice and capture that flash magic because he's lost his power. So he's trying to get struck by a lightning bolt. I love this. Because he's like, I can do it, Batman. You got to help me. Then he gets just fried. Anyway, you can find out exactly how all of that ends. I think I did more of an overview when doing the Flashpoint omnibus. So let's look at the extras. Uh, these are ones that are supplied by Ethan Van Skyver. There's a nice homage cover uh, to uh, Flash Rebirth. It's like this classic uh, Silver Age cover. I think it's awesome. And then some... Varying covers to The Final Crisis and Blackest Night. That's a Tony Harris piece of art right there from The Flash, number one. Greg Horn, Scott Collins, Ryan Sook. I think that's Art Jeremy, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Darwin Cook. So all of these were just variants for issue number one of the ongoing Flash series. This is the Flashpoint number one, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive cover. The one that they also used for the uh, well, the Absolute Edition. Some more variant covers here from Flashpoint. And if you're interested more about Flashpoint, like I said, the Omnibus might be for you because that explores the entire world of Flashpoint. Uh, this is from the Secret Files right here. Breaking down who these characters are. Keystone City, the difference between Keystone City and Central City. Occupations of some of the characters, and then the speedsters, which you might need if you've never read any Flash, and this is your first Flash omnibus, and you're going right into Flash Rebirth. You may need to know who Jay Garrick is, or why it's a big deal that Max Mercury shows up in there. And then some of his rogues. I still love the classic rogues. 
So, I will admit, I think it's weird because, to me, I grew up, you know, knowing Wally West is my Flash. Uh, my DC comic started with Crisis on Infinite Earths, issue number seven. So, Wally West was always my Flash. You know, the, the Barry died in issue number eight of Crisis. And I've always known Wally as Flash. And Barry Allen was one of those characters that I thought, oh, he's dead dead. He's Bucky dead, what we used to call Bucky dead. Now we just call Uncle Ben dead. I don't even know if Uncle Ben has come back. I don't think so. Knock on wood. But anyway, there are characters that you knew were never coming back, and he was just one of those. Been gone for decades. So when this came out, I was like, yes, Jeff Jones! Barry Allen? Okay, well, let, let, let's see. Let, let's see what this is about. So I don't know if that was the reason why I didn't enjoy these stories as much as the previous two volumes. The previous two volumes, I'll be honest with you, some of the best comics I've ever read. They're phenomenal. They're up there amongst my favorite Jeff Johns stories. But when it got to this, when Barry Allen became The Flash, I don't know, it just became different. I think it was nostalgia for someone else, not me. And there's nothing wrong with that. I still enjoy the stories. I still wanted to see where it went. And then what they did to my boy Wally... In the pages of New 52. That was wrong. That's why I was happy about Rebirth. So, um, yeah, this one to me, not as fun as the other two. The other two, still high prices. Love them. This one, a great story, especially Flashpoint. Just uh, not as epic as the first two volumes. We have some toys here from Flashpoint. Actually, all this stuff has been collected before in the Flashpoint omnibus. I guess for completeness sake, they needed to include them in here. And a little bit of the bios back here. Now, let's take a look at the binding. 880 pages. This is what your binding looks like. This is your eye. It is sewn binding. The book lays over rather well. Here is what a spread page looks like towards the front. So, laying over really nice. A little bit of gutter loss. Not very much. And one towards the very back. But that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing this book, don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in an excellent condition as well as prompt and helpful service. Check out the bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. CGN is excited to announce that they are now taking pre-orders. They're making it easier for you to ensure that you don't miss out on the hottest releases. CGN is currently running a special promotion for your mentees. If you're a first time customer, let them know that you were referred by near mint condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. This promotion is valid for U.S. customers only. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount and quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and build of this omnibus. Let me know in the comments down below if you've picked it up, if you're keeping your original three omnis and just adding this one, if you've never read Jeff John's run, who your favorite Flash is? That's the important question. Who is your Flash? Mine, of course, will always be... Wally West. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We are on Spreadshop and on Patreon. Amazing ways to support the channel. And more importantly, everyone stay healthy and stay safe out there. Much love.